Why, hello everyone. So today we're gonna do another simplicity of logic, and today's topic is about friendship, and basically the sincerity of who. Um, this is basically my core concept of friendship, and um, first as a disclaimer, I'm not saying I'm an authority on it, but it's what I've thought through quite a bit and how I like to really document um, my views on the idea of friendship and how it should be viewed and maybe if possible start a discussion firstly what is a friend? we have established that um, to me a friend is someone who is integral to your life who makes you a better person or in, at least if not that at least you enjoy the company something that adds value to you Alright, as much as you should add value to them. Now now you establish what is a friend should be. The important point is that friendship should be based, in my view, on um, the best virtue to put on it is sincerity. But the important part where I differ with many is um, on the sincerity of who it should be that should be considered for friendship. For many, they have this idea that friendship should be based on the sincerity of the person to you. Meaning that the person has to be good to me for that person to be my friend. Um, I disagree quite a lot. I feel that the sincerity of the person should be from you or the person towards the other. Now... Basically, this means friendship is based, um, in the easiest way to explain it, in my view, is based on selfish means. Now, you might say that's hypocritical. How can a person be um, a friend, yet do it through um, selfish means? Now, the important point of that is... That is not a contradiction as what is more natural and sincere than a person acting in in a large extent self interest. Like one would never well unless mentally unstable or another a small cases, most of the time you can argue that no one really does something that they do not find pleasure or won't benefit from. And like I said, this the most important point is that you cannot look at the negative connotations of selfish. You have to look at the positive side too. And when I say friendship should be based on that, it works both ways. That other person should also gain something from you. Therefore, you are both benefiting from the idea of this, um, how you say, coexistence together. And to make an example... Um, this is a good way to um, really formulate the idea. Assume that, depending on whatever God you believe in, an all-knowing, all-omnipotent God. Now, this is not our religion, but for this example, just assume that. And he said to you, I'm going to let you know that Greg is going to be part of your life. Now, he is truly going to be a sincere friend. But, important point is that he will not make any difference to you in your life and importantly um, you probably gonna feel quite bored meeting him all right but he's gonna be a true friend but he will have no impact on your life good or bad now God says and gives you a choice do you want to know this person and to be absolutely honest and logical the answer is no and, and I, I would assume that for most people. Um, and why is that? Simply because you play no part. There is no difference in knowing this person. Again, these are extreme examples, but that's what philosophy does to get to the core. If not, there will be too many cases of what if this, what if that. That's why I have to use extreme examples. But in most cases, I would think that most normal people would say no. So therefore, that's why I would say that my case that friendship is based on the so-called selfish means but in a beneficial way for everybody so if we all gain together um, benefits we are all still sincerely friends 
because we all gain something out of that and it's logical so and also the important point of um, when we say gain it's not just something physical it's not just money it is some like I said before you can gain nothing from this person other than joy from just talking to this person maybe this person I don't know you just like you hate everything about this person but how the person looks so that's one thing you know um, that you gain from that person I think you know richer people will experience this a lot more where they can don't like anything about the person but they just like the person for their looks or you can gain nothing more from this person other than the fact that when you look at him he gives you a certain come out of joy just from his presence or her presence so therefore that's how I view this benefit it's that in again don't concentrate on this negative connotations of the word selfish and I hope that this has helped someone and uh, maybe if possible do a discussion on this if you believe I'm not also but do be civil about it and thank you very much and till next word